Hey, what's up guys? It is morning in Joshua Tree National Park, but it's really hot already. So I'm gonna do my best to get the shot that I wanna get this morning and get back inside. It's probably over 100 degrees already this morning and it's 7.35 local time. What I wanna do today is capture something that I like to do from time to time and that's create like epic adventure self-portraits in a landscape really framing up something like hiking or rock climbing or anything like that. I've done it in the past back in Tennessee, but I wanted to do it here because as you get in the mornings, you get really bright skies in the east, but then behind me, you have really dark blue skies where we can frame up a cool shot and use like that highlighted area of the rock that you see here paired with the really blue sky that you see. And this is the composition that I'm going for. What I wanna do, and I'll turn the camera around, is use this rock and have me hiking up this rock going this direction. But that also calls for a little bit of a problem because how do you take a photo of yourself with something that far off? with a self timer. Well, a lot of cameras now have Bluetooth connectivity and allow you to actually see whatever your camera is seeing on your smartphone. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, linking up my phone to my camera to get this photograph. And I'm actually gonna take the shot while I'm hiking up this little ridge right here. <laughs> Of my phone connected to my camera and it's really cool like it sets up a really neat shot and I'm actually filming both screens right now so you can see me walking around within the frame it's a really cool way to do this type of shot and a lot of times as outdoor photographers we kind of want to document what we're doing and what we're shooting out in the landscape but it can be difficult when we're out by ourselves and you can use like a 10 second self timer but that doesn't always work when you're doing something like I'm doing right now, hiking up this ridge. And you can see me in the frame on my camera. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm using my camera. Wow, the air is really thin out here. Using my camera and my phone screen to see exactly where I am within the frame. So what I wanna do is just walk a little bit backwards while seeing where I am. And I'm just gonna kinda like try to frame this up. And as I walk, I'm gonna take a shot. So when I get to a specific point, I'm gonna take a photograph. And what I'm trying to do here is frame this up to where it looks natural. So as I take a step, what I wanna do is have that space between my legs and try to get right on this ridge line without falling. So I'm basically gonna put the camera down right now so I can try to get this without getting my vlogging camera in the shot. One second. Now it is difficult to see everything you're doing within the frame of your phone while you're hiking and doing whatever you're doing at the same time, trying not to fall off of a cliff and die. But what you can do now, once you're done, head back to your camera and review the composition. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So it's actually a pretty decent shot. I wasn't expecting a lot from it, but like I said, it is a way to use your adventures and your journeys of coming out to a new location and trying to remember them best. You know, the funny thing is about photographers, they're usually not in any of their images. Even if it's a family photo, you're usually the one behind the camera and not showing up in the shot. So this is a fun way to show your adventures, hiking around to different places and framing it up really well. One tip compositionally is you want to frame up these shots to where you have space between your body parts. So I put space in between my legs to show the action of walking 
up this cliff and I tried to do it as natural as possible while also monitoring my camera and what was going on with my phone. So you want to put space to make sure that you're not just like a weird single line. You want to have action within the shot and it's a good way to frame up your adventure photos. As for me, it's time to head back inside because I'm extremely dehydrated and really hungry. So I'll see you guys later.